Wake up. I don't get no peace. You don't get no peace. I creep up on the side of the bed. You won't get these drinks out here. I got money, so they put it in the bag. I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jack. Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad. Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass. I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights. I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback. Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm about you, about we should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to. 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 If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want that extra juicy tea, go ahead and click that link down in the description below to join Shayla's membership. Period. All right, y'all. If y'all was on my live Saturday, y'all we. <laughs> We had a time. If y'all bored and need something to watch, go watch my lives. That li I was on live for seven hours, and literally the whole day. Y'all be wanting vlogs, so that's 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 the easy way I can get a vlog out to y'all. Go watch the live. So we picked this outfit out, y'all. We was duking it out, battling it out, outfit for outfit, try on for try on, and we came with this pink, and it was hitting, y'all. Me and my bestie just came from being out and I was just like, look, I'm still in a hyper mode. I put my Nellies on because I have I didn't have time to put my Nellies on when we first went out. I said, uh-uh, let me put the whole um the whole look together, put the Nellies on, and let me record this part three of the story time while I'm looking cute and then I'm about to hit the head and go to sleep because it's like I'm almost about to be the crack of dome. All right, y'all. So yeah, get into the Nellies. Get into the Nellies. So cute. I was supposed to wear these with another outfit, but they match this outfit. I'm probably going to wear them again with the outfit that it's supposed to match with. But these is fire. I love them. They're hella cute, y'all. They're so cute. Like, it's almost giving, like, wedding nails, bridles. They're fire. I'm not going to die. Not going to die. Totally cute. Let's get into this part three. All right, y'all. So what I did is I screenshotted the his story of him reposting the girl on his um on his Instagram stories, and I, I and I screenshotted it, and I I don't know why I screenshotted it, but I replied directly to the message on his um Instagram, and I was like, who is this? Cause who is this? Who is this chick you is posting on your Instagram story? Like, fill me in. Like, what am I missing? Because y'all, Cray Cray was swearing up and down that he wasn't talking to nobody. He wasn't dealing with nobody. None of that. Like, so I'm just so confused. It's like, who is this? Cause it's giving girlfriend, potential girlfriend, the way you posting and all this stuff. Like, nah, like, hold on. So finally, um, the girl pulled up and we all get in the car, y'all. So when he messaged me back, I couldn't even see because now I'm driving. I'm driving the first two hours. Everything cool. It started raining, all kind of stuff. So after it was my turn, my, done with my turn driving, I got in the back and um, Miss Burgundy or her friend took over. I can't think of who, who drove the rest of the way. No, I think the friend. I think the friend drove the rest of the way. So yeah, I'm in the back seat, y'all. Do y'all want to know what Cray Cray said to me? This, this boy said, this your replacement. She younger. She look better. She doing better than you. This your replacement because you don't be acting right. And I have to find somebody to replace you. First of all, first of all, <laughs> y'all, when I tell you <laughs> I was beating down that phone with my fingers, are you out your rabbit ass mind? My replacement for one. How is she my replacement? We was never even a, in a serious relationship before for you to even be trying to replace me. You never wanted anything. You never wanted anything serious with me. You just wanted girlfriend benefits without being a boyfriend. Like, what are you talking about? My replacement. Y'all, I'm cussing him out, calling him every name in the book. I'm like, F you, you ain't nothing. That's trifling. And you gonna say that to me? You gonna tell me to my face that this girl is my replacement? Replacement? Can't nobody replace me. Like, what are you talking about? I'm me. I'm one of one. I'm one of a kind. I'm unique. Like, my mama gave me the perfect middle name because ain't no one like me. 
can't nobody replace me. It's never going to be me. Like, come on now. Like, what are you talking about? So I'm just telling him like, oh, you hella shady. That's messed up. I thought me and you was trying to work on what we had. And he was like, nah, you had a uh, delusional texting you uh, the day before you left. So why are you mad? I needed to show you that um, I can talk to people too. I say you, I don't, it's not the fact that you are talking to other people is the fact that you posted this girl on your instagram story like this is your 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 girl like your boo i said and i told you me and you've been texting my whole trip and i explained to you that nothing is going on between me and delusional and i get it it was probably really hard for him to believe that but it was it true y'all and i was telling him i was like no we'll get there so i'm i'm telling him like nah that's not the same i'm not posting him on my instagram making it seem like me and him in a relationship or nothing like that mind you me and delusional haven't been talking we haven't messed around like that like none of that Y'all, so I'm just like, wow. I'm like, that is so disrespectful. If you didn't want to talk to me no more or something like that, you could have just told me. Anytime I tell you I'm finna, I like, I'm done. I don't want to talk or I'm finna go talk to, I tell you that. I'd be honest with you. But you up here, sitting up here lying in my face about what you really got going on because you didn't just meet this girl overnight and then all of a sudden it's your boo, which means you been had to be talking to her for her and you to feel comfortable to be posting each other on y'all Instagram stories. Like y'all know Instagram stories, Instagram solidifies something you feel me like when you post somebody on your instagram like that's basically saying like i really mess with this person for everybody to see that you know this person and you saying special stuff everybody gonna see this nah y'all so me and him just going back and forth arguing the whole way on me on my way back I'm literally like on the verge of tears because I'm just so hurt. Like I cannot believe he just said this to me after everything he didn't did to me and put me through. Not saying I'm perfect, not saying the stuff that I was doing was right, but it's just like you pushed me to start talking to other people. You pushed us to this point. I was trying to fight for you and work on everything what we had to keep it because I loved you and you kept pushing me away you kept doing crazy things to me and it's just like now you got another female my replacement got it noted okay I see I see what type of time you on and I see what's going on here and you know what it's cool because what can I do about it besides you know talk my smack but you not gonna not talk to the girl because you wouldn't have posted her if that was the case so Mind y'all, this is like a six to eight hour drive. So the first two hours I drove. So then next six hours, me and him just back and forth, talking smack. He wouldn't reply for heck along. And then I wouldn't reply for heck along because I'm trying to think of what I'm saying. But this whole drive though, after, you know, I, I stopped driving, I'm going back and forth with him over the course of the time. So by the time I get home, I'm just like, you know what, Cray Cray? If this is how you want to end things off, cool. It is what it is. I'm glad you kept it real with me, but you could have did it a whole nother way. You didn't have to post her on your Instagram for me to see. You could have told me to my face or text me and said, look, like, you feel me? I, I got other stuff going on. So when you see what I post, then don't be mad. Okay. I would have been sad and upset, but I would have respected it more that way than you doing this. And then you telling me this is my, she my replacement. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you, baby, I can't nobody replace me. Are you, yeah, something wrong up there. Something wrong up there. Something is never clicking there at all because you're out your mind. Um, hello, it's a commercial break because hold on, pause. Look up at the screen. Look how good I look. Y'all, I felt like a Barbie. Like, look at me. I look tea and no makeup is on. Just eyebrows, lashes, and lip gloss. Looking tea as hell. Like, I look so pretty. But, yeah. All I'm thinking is, she don't know the real you. She know this fake version of you with your little fake scam money, you being up. But if she knew the real you when I first met you, when you was at the bottom, 
I'm sure all this wouldn't be be going on. Like she only know rich you. Let's let's just say that. Like you up on money because you've been scamming. Like come on now, she don't know the real you. Don't don't sit up here and make it seem like y'all. Mind you, if y'all been keeping up with Cray Cray in the Cray Cray playlist, y'all know he been talking to people, been back and forth with his ex, been dragging me through the mud. So how were you mad that I was talking to someone else? Like I started talking to other people first. When you been talking to other people, been doing me wrong, been back and forth with your ex, y'all been having all these kind of titties. Y'all know what I mean? But you know, all these <laughs> disease between the both of y'all and dragging me into that. And you got the nerve to say you doing what you doing because of me? <laughs> sir what am i missing what am i missing did i like he would always try to make me feel like y'all i was the one losing my mind like i was the one not remembering things correct i was the one tripping y'all he really be he would really try to convince me that the things that he would do when i would catch him doing i made up in my head like and at times y'all i'm not gonna lie Sometimes I will be second guessing myself like, oh, maybe I did take it the wrong way. Maybe I did read things the wrong way. Maybe him and his ex really not messing around, even though she clearly reached out to me and told me she was messing around with him. I got proof that they was messing around with each other. We all got on a three way call and it proved that they were still messing around with each other. And he was still talk a good game and have me thinking like, oh, maybe maybe it ain't <laughs> crazy. So y'all, finally we get home and I jump in my car cause I have my car parked at my mama house. They dropped me off at my mama house. I picked, um, yeah, I picked up my car cause obviously Dylan's already with me. We drive home. Y'all, I go home, I can't sleep. I'm up cause now it's like night. Cause we left like in the evening, we get home at, like at night. Cray Cray start calling me, calling me. And I'm not answering because I'm just like, what are we finna talk about? We finna just argue. I'm finna cry. I'm finna pour my heart out to you just for you to laugh in my face. And what? Like, what are we doing? So he was just like, man, Shay, just answer the phone. Just answer the phone. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. So I'm like, all right, man, whatever, y'all. I answer the phone. This Nick laughing. He like, Shay, you probably over there finna cry, huh? You was over there crying, huh? You sad, huh? And I'm just like, bro, is this why you call me to antagonize me to like rub it in my face or something? I'm like, bro, what's up? What you want? He like, Shay, you know, I was just playing, right? You know, I was just playing, right? That's just my friend. It ain't nothing going on between us. I just wanted you to wanted to make you mad. How you been trying to make me mad with that dude delusional. So now we doing a tit for tat, but I guess we was doing a tit for tat, but it wasn't really a tit for tat. Y'all, I literally sat on the phone with Cray Cray before I started talking to Delusional and told him like, if me and you do not go forward with something serious, I'm going to do me. I'm going to start talking to other people. If you still want to talk to me or whatever, cool, fine. But I'm not going to put all my eggs in your basket. I'm going to go swim out to sea and see what else I can fish for. He thought I was playing. I wasn't playing, but I told him straight up. Now, I don't have to tell him each individual dude I'm talking to, but I wouldn't post no dude on my Instagram like that's my little boo thing. You kidding me? Oh, okay. So I'm like, All right, bro, why do you always like for me to be on an emotional roller coaster? All of a sudden, you up prankster like what are, what are we doing here like what are you talking about it's a joke you was playing with me we argued for six hours on and off and you joking you was playing you wasn't serious that's just your friend yeah. do you believe me and him talked for like two hours and somehow he I, he didn't convince me, but I was, I don't know, y'all. I was just so up under him. I was just like, man, whatever. Like, it is what it is. I let him try. I let him convince me that it was fair. 
<clears throat> I was talking to delusional and other people, but even though I wasn't talking to them at that specific time, okay, fair. So why he can't talk to people or have friends? Okay, fair, whatever. So he was like, Shay, don't trip off of the stuff I got her. That's nothing. I got you more stuff for your birthday. I got you shoes. I got you clothes. I got you heck of other stuff that I bought you. I even bought some stuff for Dylan. So let me just come over tomorrow. We can talk about it in person and I'll give you your gifts. I got some money for you too. So I'm just like, at first I'm like, nah, like, because what is this? But then I was like, you know what? My brain wasn't clicking that much either, y'all. So don't, 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 not too much. Not too much. I know y'all probably like, Shayla, why you didn't leave? Why you didn't call your family? Why you didn't tell nobody? Y'all, I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. And I had already did that kind of stuff when I was with my baby daddy, L, calling my family every time me and him got into it, them pulling up, ready to fight him. They don't like him. It's, it, I learned, I had, when I started dealing with Cray Cray, I was just like, oh, I don't want to do that. Because then I'm showing up to the family functions with him like, hey, how y'all doing? You know, so it was just like I already went through that kind of stuff with my baby daddy. I'm thinking, you know, I'm not going to do that anymore unless I know I'm going to really leave him or I really know my life is in danger for real. Even though my life was in danger a lot of times with Cray Cray. I didn't feel like he was really going to do something to me, but you never know. You know what I mean? I don't know. But that's just what I was thinking at the time. Like, I was just embarrassed. Like, I didn't want to get my family involved. And then I'm gonna still end up with him. Because then what if I really need them? And they like, oh, girl, nah, you keep doing this. You did this with your baby daddy. Now you finna do this with some dude, other dude. Like, no, nah, I didn't want to. I didn't want that to be happening. So, y'all, next day he come over, the 26th. He come over. And he was like, let's just have a movie day. So, y'all, one thing about it, I didn't really let Cray Cray be around my kid. Like, most times when Cray Cray would come over, I wouldn't allow him to, to, I wouldn't allow him to be there when Dylan was there. He was only around him certain times, but not too much. That's one thing about it. I didn't have Cray Cray around Dylan like that. Like, he only been around him a couple times. So, this particular day when he came over, Dylan was going to be at the house for a little bit. And then he was leaving to go with his dad. So Cray Cray come over. He wanted to give Dylan his gifts. He gave Dylan his gifts. Dylan was happy. He had got him some hats some shoes and um, a backpack and a bunch of other little stuff. And then he got me shoes, um, a purse, perfume and balloons, flowers and all kind of other stuff, too. I can't think of everything, but. So we chilling in the living room and y'all, we having like a little movie day, you know, just some chill. I made some food, some popcorn, and we all just chilling. Eventually, um, Dylan leaves. He goes with his dad. So now it's just me and Cray Cray at the house chilling, still having a movie day. But as we chilling, y'all, I'm just thinking in my head, like, I think I'm kind of done with this. I'm kind of over it. That, that situation right there with him posting that girl and him telling me that's my replacement, like, I didn't like how that made me feel inside. You know, it's one thing to, you know, us going through it. But for you to sit up here and tell me that some chick is my replacement, like that really stuck with me. That really, really hurt me, y'all. That really, really sat with me. And I had to start thinking like, Shayla, really, you going to let this dude humble you like that and keep disrespecting you like that? playing and laughing in your face like he's literally laughing at you like you're a joke you're gonna allow that you're you you're unique you're one of one like he's gonna miss you before you miss him on some real stuff it's gonna hurt you probably more but he's gonna miss you more than you miss him what are you missing I'm just sitting there thinking as we having this movie day like what am I holding on to at this point what would I miss when he's gone our chemistry not there. He don't really never want to do anything. He always moody. The only thing going good right now is he giving me money and giving me gifts. But outside of that, what else? And I'm not one of them girlies who's just going to stay around for the money and the gifts like that. OK, I could do that for myself. OK, it's cool. It's cute for the moment. Oh, OK, but. What else? But stress. No. Mind you, Dylan went with his dad, but he had came back later that day, like late in the night. So me and Cray Cray, 
we go to sleep in my room. Dylan go by the time Dylan came home, he was tired. He was wore out from his dad. He was doing stuff with his dad and his sister. He go in his room. He sleep. Me and Cray Cray in my room. We go to sleep. Mind you, me and Cray Cray are not doing anything. We're not intimate or nothing. Like the whole year of 2020, I wasn't doing nothing with nobody. Not delusional or Cray Cray. I wasn't, you know, messing around, you know, getting freak nasty with nobody. None of them. I was just chilling, hanging out with them. So, y'all, we go to sleep. I wake up hecka early the next day because this is when I still worked at the call center. But I was working from home. I wake up. Craig Craig phones is going off. Both of his phones blowing up. Text messages, phone calls, social media notifications just bling, bling, bling. Every it's just going off like really bad. Usually Cray Cray have his phone on silent. And y'all, up until this point, the whole two years, because this is coming up on our like two year. Yeah, this would have been two and a half years at this point of us talking or whatever. Um, I never went through Cray Cray phone, never tried to touch that man phone, never thought to go through that phone, none of that. Like with Cray Cray, I was like so different. I didn't want to have that crazy toxic situation going on. I was trying not to because they always tried to little girl me because Cray Cray is like four years older than me. Because if I'm 31, Cray Cray is like 36, 36, 36. Yeah, he like 35. 36 so he like yeah four or five years older than me so he always tried to like little girl me like you a little girl you young you don't know what you doing that's why you need to listen to me i know what i'm doing i'm grown i didn't live i'm wise i'm this i'm dad i'm a real man blah 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 blah, blah. And, and i could teach you and show you how to be a real woman that's the kind of stuff he was saying so anyways y'all i tried not to go through his phone because i went through that with my baby daddy and i always found something in that damn phone i did not like and it was stressed me out that's probably why i was so skinny when i was with my baby daddy because going through that phone look you gonna find what you're looking for if your heart and your brain and your body is telling you something in that phone something in that phone so be ready to find something in that phone <laughs> be stressed like you know what i mean y'all his phone going off and I'm looking at it. He knocked out y'all sleep gone. And I'm like, I ain't going to do it. Mind you, it was, I had, no. Yeah, it was the old phone that was going off the most. Right? So his old phone was still the iPhone with the thumbprint. When you put your thumbprint to open the phone. So that phone blowing up, blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. And I'm just looking at it like, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Shayla, is you going to go through that phone? Y'all, something came over. Like, y'all, I walked away. I logged into work and was like, man, nah, it ain't even working. Phone blowing up, going off, going off, going off, y'all. I went back, y'all. When I tell you, y'all, I'm like, I'm going through that phone. It's going off too much. When I tell y'all, I had to think, okay, Shayla, it's locked. You got to get this nigga thumbprint to open the phone. How you going to do this? How you going to do this? Y'all, when I tell you, I turned into a goddamn spy secret. Y'all, when I tell you, y'all, I get the phone right. Y'all, I'm shaking in my boots. I'm like, I'm about to get this nigga thumb. And I'm about to get this phone open. That's what I'm about to do. Because I'm about to go through this phone because I need answers. And I already feel it in my spirit. I know, man, yeah, I know. It's that time. Go through that phone, get your feelings hurt, and have more reason to not mess with him. This is the last day. This is the last day he going to see me. I'm telling y'all, I was just thinking like this is the last day because I can't do this no more. But let me go through this phone. Let me go through this phone. Y'all, I grabbed that phone. I creeped, crawled over him. I just, I picked up his hand. Like I, I moved it a little bit, flickered it a little bit. And I was like, ah, oh, nah, let me not crawl on the bed. So y'all crawled back off the bed, right? He didn't move or nothing. So y'all, I get on the floor. I crawling on the side of the bed. Y'all, I creep up on the side of the bed. Cause his hand was like dangling off the bed. I'm moving it. I'm moving it. Y'all, I'm shaking in my boots. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm scared because I'm like, what if he wake up and he see me doing this and he flip 
out. I'm so terrified, y'all. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm shaking. I'm panicking. I'm just like rethinking the situation now because I'm just like, oh my gosh, Shayla, what if he wake up? 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 Oh my God, y'all. But I'm like creeping. I'm like right here. I'm like, but you so close, Shayla. Like something is telling you, you need to finish. You started this, finish. Y'all, I put that thumb, boop, phone open. Instantly run out the room. Well, I crawled out. And then I got shut the door. Y'all, when I tell you everything I suspected of Cray Cray was in the damn phone. The girl he was talking about, I went through all their messages on Instagram in his phone. They've been talking. They have been talking almost as long as me. They've been, they was talking for like a year. Kicking it. I'm going through his phone. This nigga tricking. Sending everybody in his phone money. All kind of females. Paying females to kick it with him. Sending money to everybody. Y'all, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm so sick. I'm like, I can't believe what I'm seeing with my own two eyes. He been lying to me this whole time and he could have just kept it a hundred. You been talking to this girl for like a year. Y'all, what got me? What got me? What pissed me off? Two things pissed me off real bad. He was telling her he loved her. They were saying, I love you. That hurt. Because even though I was talking to other dudes and I was talking to Delusional, I wasn't telling him I loved him. We didn't even get that far to be in a, a I love you. You telling her you love her? You being nice? You sending her money? Bro, when I tell you, y'all, I wanted to stop going through the phone right when I seen that. But I said, nah, Shelly, you on a mission. You already here. Keep going through that phone. Keep going through that phone. Like, you need to get your heart so broke that you don't never think about going back. Because you love a bitch. Got you. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I'm going through his phone. I'm seeing other girls dropping their location. He meeting them at Starbucks here and there doing all this stuff. I go on his social uh, media, his Facebook, y'all. He messaging all kind of females, sending dick pics and getting pictures, just all kind of stuff, y'all. I'm just seeing so much stuff. I'm just like, wow, like, this why this nigga don't like me. This why this nigga hate me. This why this he don't want to settle down with me. He got all this going on. How can he focus on me? Of course, every time he get around me, he, he uneasy because he can't entertain the thousands of people he talking to on a daily basis in the girl he actually liked he liked this girl he telling he loved he posted him her on his instagram story he sending her money y'all the second thing that made me so mad y'all this is when this is when y'all so y'all remember i told y'all was this episode one or two I told y'all that, yeah, this was episode one, that his ex had to take him to the hospital for Christmas because he wasn't feeling good. I'm going through him and her text messages. She telling him in the text, well, they was going back and forth. She told him that because she was living the street life at HOE or something. So he said, I don't really know what was going on, but this is what he said. I guess one of the guys she was sleeping around with got an STD. These two is ST king and queen. That's why I re we wasn't really doing I was scared. I wanted to do stuff with him. I would have protected, but I was scared because him and this girl was just ST queen and king. If y'all didn't watch that whole full story time, go check that out. So He then texts her back and was like, oh, that's probably why I haven't been feeling well. I need to go to the hospital because I need to get checked and I need to get flushed because I ain't been feeling well. And that's probably why I've been my body been hurting and my body been aching because you gave me an ST, blah, 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 blah. So they she took him to the hospital because of that. Mind you, I'm going through their text messages. They've been still messing around. He talking about how she be giving him head and all kind of stuff. And they talking about me all in the text messages, y'all. He telling her like, I ain't nobody and saying all my personal business to this girl and stuff. And I'm just like, that's what well, he was telling me all her business. But y'all, it just really broke my heart. Like you really sitting up here telling this girl one thing, telling me one thing. 
you still messing around with her. She took you to the hospital because y'all both probably had an SD and you tried to blame it on me. You put a pew pew to my head because you tried to blame me for giving you an SD when you got the SD from your ex because you still messing around with her knowing she had HOE. You're psycho. You're insane. You knew for a fact I did not give you that SD, but you still tried to blame it on me. You still went crazy on me knowing goddamn well that she gave it to you in the and y'all text about it? Oh, baby, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Because I'm just like, wow, like, he really wasted two years of my life and put me through all of this. Okay, let me not say he wasted my time before anybody get their panties in a bunch. I wasted my own time because I allowed him to play with me for this long. Let me correct myself, okay? That's what I mean. He don't have no control over what I do. You know what I'm saying? Even though he manipulated me in a way, I still allowed everything that transpired to happen because I did not leave when the first wild situation happened. So I just want to clear that up. And that's one thing about it, y'all. I be giving niggas two years. You got two. Now, you don't even have that long. But I, two. I'm not doing what I did with my baby daddy and giving a dude more than two years of my life. Absolutely not. Because you cannot get that time back. And then you got to heal. And then the trauma. And then that's more time. Like, that's just too much time taken away from me. Y'all, I'm shaking. Now I go back in the room. And I got the phone. I get his other phone. And, um... I remember he, him putting in his passcode. I get in that phone. Even more stuff. Just all kind of females. All kind of naked pictures. All kind of this. All kind of that. But none of that even mattered. What hurt me the most was him telling another female that he loved her. Him blaming me for giving him an SD when he knew his ex gave it to him. And he put a pew pew to my head. Those two things... I was like, yeah, this is it. This is it. This I can't do nothing else with him. I can't go no further, Shayla. You got the answers. So I'm mad. I'm furious. Fucking nervous and, and scared. I'm furious. I'm enraged. I'm ready to knuck if you buck. Okay? I'm ready to fight. Because how dare you play me like this? I'm sick. I'm hurt. I... <laughs> Y'all, Craig Carey really was an evil person. Like, you love this girl. You want to be with her. You like her more than me. Okay, why are you doing this with me? Like, you don't have to. You could leave me alone. But you want your cake, your ice cream, your cookies, your cupcakes, and everything else. Like, what you're doing is not okay to be doing to people. You live in a whole three lives because you dating me you dating her and you still messing around with your ex and you talking about me there they literally y'all they literally was talking about me so many times in the text messages it was ridiculous like why am i the subject of y'all topic this often help me understand why y'all keep running my name in y'all text messages, in y'all mouth. Girl, I don't know you. Okay, cray cray weird too for trying to have you not like me and you don't even know me. If anything, I be trying to defend you when he talking about you. Little do you know. So yeah, y'all. I get the phone. Bah, wake up. I don't get no peace. You don't get no peace. And I know y'all probably like Shayla. That's so dangerous. You know, he be carrying it. Pew pew. And y'all at that point, I was not thinking of that. And I just lost it. Like I literally lost it. Y'all reading that stuff and seeing that I just went crazy. Bah, throw the phone. Mind you, he didn't even wake up. Bah, throw the other phone. Now he wake up. He like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, get your stuff and you can go. You can leave. You can exit left. You can gather all your little supplies and your bag and your and 
Er, yeah, you can go. He like, man, what the fuck you talking about? Why are you throwing stuff at me? Why are you waking me up? We just had a good night. What's going on? I'm like, y'all, I'm calm. Me calm like this, it's not good. It's not good. Like, it's, it's meaning, like, please get away from me before I do something I don't want to do. Before I end up in, in, in with handcuffs. Please, just leave me alone. Just get your stuff and leave. I'm calm, though. I'm like, I went through your phone. And I don't like what I seen. And I think what's going on between me and you has concluded. And I just think it's best for you to get away from me as soon as possible. Get your stuff. Leave peacefully. And we can just end things peacefully. You want to say something, say your piece while you getting your stuff. And, and you can go on head out. Because this right here. I'm good. This is too much. You got too much going on. Too many ST shit circling around. Too many females circling around. I'm cool. Like, I got to think about my health at the same time. This is crazy. I can't do nothing with you at this point. We can, no, absolutely not. Because there is ST that you can catch. Skin to skin contact, herpes, all that kind of stuff. You can get that kind of stuff even if you use protection. You know, so it's just like, I'm cool. Like, you are high risk. Absolutely not. I'm not finna risk it anymore. Another thing I forgot to say, y'all, before we get into what happened. What I seen on Instagram, when I was going through his Instagram messages, that he was messaging Miss Burgundy. Like, she didn't message back or nothing, but he was trying to get at her and was commenting and liking her pictures and hella shit. And I was like, this boy is so weird. At the time, me and Miss Burgundy were still friends. Um... I'm like, he hecka weird. Now, mind you, it, she wasn't seeing it because it was probably going in her, uh, you know, the inbox when you not friends with somebody and it go in that inbox. She probably never even noticed that it was him. Mind you, she probably didn't even know that was his Instagram if she did see it. But she never opened the messages or nothing like that. But I was just like, bro, you're so weird. And I think I actually got a screenshot of that. If I do, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. <laughs> I'm like, that was so weird. So finally... Cray Cray is registering everything I say, y'all. He get up. He like, man, Shay, what you talking about? Whatever, man. I get my stuff and leave. If you want to be done, we can be done. I'm like, yeah, get your shit. So he just talking his little smack, mumbling, talking about, yeah, that's why, um, that's why my re your replacement better than you anyway. And why you even going through my phone and yada 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 yada. So I said, you got all this to say. When you still effing your dusty ass ex and she gave you an SD. Oh, how about that? How about that? How about that? Yeah. You want to talk, talk this? You threaten me? All this stuff? When I went through your phone, I seen that you were still messing around with your dusty ass ex. And that's why you had went to the hospital the day after Christmas. <laughs> I said, so yeah, get your little SD ass on about my house because I can't do nothing with you anyway. And go on run back to your little dusty ex. Go on run to the little miss replacement. And let them deal with you. Because I'm done with you. I'm tired of you. I can do better than you. <laughs> anyway, it's like, come on now. You think because you up all this money? Like, all right, the way you spending it, it ain't managing it. It ain't putting nothing. You ain't put this money into nothing like an idiot. <laughs> you gotta be gone quick. Just as fast as you got it, I'm sure it'll be gone. Or you might be in jail. Who knows? Because, hmm. <laughs> Sir, I should call the police on you. You're a criminal. Y'all, that ruffled cray cray feathers so bad. Y'all, he stopped what he doing and he he looked at me so crazy, so many. Y'all, my heart dropped. I'm not gonna lie. I'm telling you, y'all, he looked at me like like he just Oh, like y'all, like he mugged me so hard, so bad. I was scared. I said, Woo, Shayla, hello. Like, woo, wait a minute. This, this, maybe you did a little too much. You should have just let him leave peacefully. Like, you said, you, you, 
but I was mad. I couldn't help it. It came out. I don't know how to hold my tongue, y'all. Like, if I do, it'll just boil up. And then the more it boil up, the more disrespectful it's going to finally come out. So I, I just be trying to just say things like and just come out like it like accident. Like, y'all, he looking at me. So I can't show no fear in this moment. So I'm looking at him. I'm like, yeah, I saw it. You trick ass nigga. You sending everybody in ain't mama money. <laughs> How lame, lame, you lame. Yo, <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. It's really not like um, it's, this happened years ago. So I can, you know, laugh at the situation because it was very traumatizing at the time. But anyways, y'all, I unlocked the beast. I unlocked a beast when I did that. I really did. Y'all, this nigga went into rage. He just started yelling. Yo, yo, you stupid. Like screaming in rage. I mean, y'all, like he's hollering to the top of his lungs. Mind y'all, it's like 7, 8 a.m. in the morning, weekday, because I'm at work. I don't know what weekday, probably like a Monday or a Tuesday. Y'all, this man is screaming at the top of his lungs. I'm scared now. I'm like, oh, hold on now. This, this kind of probably finna go way too far. So I'm like, bro, just get your stuff and leave. You screaming and hollering. My son sleep. I'm like, you doing too much. You better not wake up my kid because you trying to scream and holler. Just get your stuff and leave. I saw what I saw on your phone. Like, I don't know why you mad because I'm calling you out on what I saw. He's trying to tell me, you tripping, you didn't see that, you lying, you making stuff up. How, how, how? I saw it. I saw it. Man, I wish I would have took screenshots. Then I didn't, I wasn't thinking to take screenshots. I should have sent myself money. Really, I should have took screenshots and sent myself money, honestly, truly. But I was just so mad and enraged. I, I didn't even think to even do all of that, y'all. It was just too, it was just going too fast. Like too much was happening too fast. I didn't even think that would have been the smartest thing to do. Bitch, send yourself a couple bands real quick. <laughs> Some more pain and suffering. Y'all, he went into rage. He's still getting his stuff together, y'all. This boy snapped. He flipped on me, y'all. When I tell you, I was not expecting what he was about to do next, y'all. I, like, I, I regret, I regret the way I handled the situation. I should have just left, let him leave peacefully. I shouldn't have been running my mouth trying to talk stuff, but it is what it is. So, y'all, he enraged. Next thing I know, y'all, this nigga run up on me and I ain't never seen Cray Cray move this fast before <laughs> ever because he like a a slow not slow like mentally but he like a slow like take his time he like a grandpa if like really he like a grandpa he's slow he so old school type like when I tell you y'all I blink blink and this nigga's in my face bitch I fuck I'm spooked I'm what the fuck? How did this nigga get in my face this quick? How did he get around the bed and all this damn quick? Like, y'all, when I'm telling you, I'm just, ah, 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 ah. He getting his stuff. I, like, look around, look, like, like, boom, this nigga's in my face. Like, y'all, in my face, screaming, like, head button me, like, and I'm like, it's shock now, bitch. Now I'm silent. I ain't got shit else to say now at this point because I'm scared for my goddamn life. Because I'm, I did not think he was gonna come up on me and get up in my face that quick. I, I he caught me slipping. I wasn't prepared. I'm talking all this, I, 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 and I'm not even ready to de defend myself. Y'all, next thing I know, things just got real bad real bad like a lot of stuff just it it got chaotic it got chaotic I was literally fearing for my life I mean I know at that time he put the pew pew to my head like I was scared but I didn't really think he was gonna pew me but I was scared but this time 
I was terrified, y'all. Like, I was so scared. And things just got so out of control. I would have never expected this to happen. Like, really. Like, but yeah, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all what happened on part four. This is when things really just started. It just got too crazy. Too, too crazy. But yeah, I'm going to tell y'all that on part four. So stay tuned for that, y'all. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for being patient. I'm trying to figure this thing out with YouTube. It's just... It's just not been being friendly to me. It's just been demonet not yeah, demonetizing all my videos where I'm not making money for it or they flagging it. And I'm just trying to figure things out. So just bear with me. I promise y'all videos be recorded and I'm not going to upload them unless they're going to be monetizable because I love my YouTube and I'm going to keep posting. The videos is going to come, but I have a long term goal and my goal is to use the money that I'm making off YouTube. I'm putting it in a savings so that I can use that money when I'm ready to fund my business, my nail business and my fashion line that I'm working on so hard day in and day out. And when I'm ready to launch and really take that full speed, I want to have this money there to fund that, you know, so it's like I have a goal. I have a plan and. I spent all this time editing, recording, getting ready. You know, y'all, I put the whole everything together. I come on here. I put the looks together. I, you know what I'm saying? I just take a lot of time and it's just like, dang, I want to get a little coin out of it. It's not about the coin. It's not about the coin, but it's just like, you know, when you working as it's like a job, you know, who wants to show up to work and then they tell you, oh, because the way you acted today, you don't get paid even though you you worked a full day you're gonna be like hell no nah. like what are you talking about you're gonna fight for it so yeah so just be patient with me on that y'all i'm really trying to get these videos out for y'all but i'm not gonna post no more videos and i'm not gonna get paid like that week i did a week of story times all five of the, or all of them videos most of them got demonetized i didn't make no money from them all that hard work and time and effort i, I put into all of that and to not make no money off of it just really irritated me, like honestly, truly. But I never want to make it about the money, but it's about the principle, period. But I'm going to always shoot y'all content, check out my lives. I'll be giving updates always coming on my live, tea always dropping on my lives, real good, real juicy. So if you ever bored, you want something to watch in between times, go check out them lives. All right, y'all, I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else is extra, and if you do, so I greatly appreciate it. All right, deuces. I forgot. The rest, I'm tired.